Welcome again to this new episode of my series of Deconstructed Songs, where we're going to check out multi-tracks of well-known songs from bands and artists you know and love, and discover how these recordings were done, what makes them sound good, and learn a few production tips and tricks along the way. Today we're going to listen to another iconic song. See if you recognize the intro. This is, of course, Friday I'm in Love from The Cure. The song was a worldwide hit, one of the biggest from The Cure. It was the second single from the album Wish, which was released in 1992. The lineup is basically the band, which is Robert Smith on vocals and guitar, uh, Simon Gallup on bass, Paul Thompson on guitar, Boris Williams on drums and Perry Bamonte usually on keyboards but there's just guitars here so he's probably playing some guitars as well. The song was produced by David M. Allen. The song is in D major. It's 136 bits per minute which is quite a happy uh, tempo. There's nothing truly notable in the chord progression, uh, which is diatonic from, uh, for the most part, uh, apart from a C chord, a C major chord appearing in the bridge. Uh, it should have been a C sharp diminished, really, if we were truly diatonic. But this is justified by the upward movement starting from A towards the root D. So you have A, uh, B minor, C and D. So that C is, is actually part of that upward movement. What we can hear at first is the accumulation of guitars on this recording. You have three guitars playing constantly. Uh, you have a third string on this track, plus an electric guitar with uh, quite a lot of delay. And there's also the main one, which kind of a Rickenbacker sound. Makes for a sound that's reminiscent of folk rock bands from the West Coast. Like, uh, like the birds, for example. There's also a distorted guitar, and there's also the lead guitar solo here somewhere. And this is actually quite unusual for the Cure to have a guitar, a kind of a guitar solo, really. Drums and bass are playing pretty standard rock groove. But notice how much the bass has a, has a, a chorus effect on it. It actually helps uh, to cut with the wall of guitars, the 12 strings and all the, the delays. Otherwise it would be totally un unnoticeable. The vocals are pretty fun, they are building up, like uh, notice how it starts with just one voice, then a double, then an extra high part. Let's listen to the verse here. I don't care if Monday's blue. Just one Tuesday's voice here. Gray and, Wednesday too. and two. Thursday, I don't care about you. Then it's extra Friday, high. I'm in love. And again. Monday you can fall apart. Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart Oh, Thursday, doesn't even start It's Friday, I'm in love One thing to note about the vocal as well is how Robert Smith is sometimes just hinting uh, the last consonants of some words. Uh, it's pretty obvious in the chorus. Let's listen to that. That's a day way and Sunday always comes too late But Friday never hesitate I So it's really singing Saturday way 
and Sunday always come to lay, but Friday never lays it day. So he's, he's never pronouncing the NT, yet we don't miss it, uh, because our brain is basically filling the blanks, and it's even more when you have the whole, the whole song playing, really. The ending vocal is pretty cool as well, with some extra parts that sound like uh, some kind of operatic attempt, uh, which accentuate the happy, ex exhilarated feeling of this song. Uh, listen to that. Even start, it's Friday, I'm in love. I like the, the, the part that is uh, actually doubled by the guitar here. And then the kiss is pretty nice. So in this episode, among other things, we've heard how to make a happy song, how to fatten your bass sound, and how you don't always need to pronounce the end consonants. Consonant. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, give it a like, put your thoughts in the comments, and remember to subscribe and stay tuned, because there will be plenty more in the coming days and weeks. See ya!